When promoting products as an affiliate, it's always a very good idea to give yourself as much time as possible and prepare everything in advance. So you can prepare your opt-in pages, any lead magnets, uh, any bonuses and email follow-ups, etc. And everything's already set up then. So once someone goes to your affiliate link, if they don't buy uh, the product straight away, then chances are you can start increasing um, sales and, and conversions through your follow-up sequence. Okay. And another very good idea is to check out products that are going to be released soon. You know, new products that are going to be launched uh, so that you can get on board early and promote the product on the day that it goes live. This is going to help you increase your conversions. If you start promoting a product that's already gone live two or three days before, then there's a lot of people within your niche that would have already seen that product, which is then obviously going to be um, and affect your conversions, and your conversions won't be quite as high. You won't make quite as many sales. Okay, so in this example, we're going to be looking at products within the internet marketing niche, and there's a number of different places you can go to check out and, and find out about new launches. Uh, you can see here this is jvnewswatch.com, you've got jvnotify, and you've got Munchie. So we're going to be looking at Munchie in this example to look at the launch calendar. So you can see at the top there you've got a few different um, uh, tabs. You can see categories, so you can search for products launching within certain categories. You can see the banner here at the top. Now, uh, product vendors generally pay around about $150 a day for these products um, to be featured in this top column here. So you can see a few different products there. And then below this you can see uh, two columns. You've got big launches and if we click on that you can see more information about big launches. But basically these product creators, um, they're probably paying about $50 a day to have their products um, listed in this column here and then to the right you've got all launches so in both cases you can see that you've got the uh, icon down the side here and down the side here so you can see in a lot of cases this is showing jvzoo if you just hover over it it, can, it tells you the name there so jvzoo so that's the affiliate platform that this product is available on and you can see here you've got warrior plus and as you scroll down you've got a few different uh, different ones there so you've got JV share sometimes you'll see some that are blank and this might just indicate that they've got their own uh, self-hosted affiliate platform so you can just take a look down and you can see the different platforms there and next to them you can see the date so this is the date that the product is going to be launched okay so 17th of Feb and you can go down 18th of Feb so you can go right down and start finding products that will be launching you know in in a, in weeks or months from now okay so and just further down here you can see the products that have just been launched okay so once you've taken a look at these products uh, launches you can go through and you can take a look at the product titles now this will give you a good indication in some cases uh, what the products about so a social ride obviously the chances are it's gonna be about social media um, auto social again there high quality presentations brainstorming customizer uh, ultimate ecom obviously ecom mastery so you can take a look through these and just have a look through and see whatever niche you're in then you can take a look through and see if any of them stand out so mobile traffic academy that kind of thing and once you start finding products that you think might be relevant to your list or to your uh, niche that you're in your, your followers in this case we'll look at affiliate marketing obviously so uh, super affiliate classroom so we can we can see that it's uh, six nine seven dollars uh, we can find out more information about it it launches on the 9th of 19th of February so we can right click and open the link in a new tab so now we'll be able to see some more details for this product launch um, you can see here the vendor name so Paul Nichols and you can click on this to open up some more details about the product uh, product vendor so you can't see too many, it's not adding too many details there, but you can see that this product vendor has launched a number of products um, in the past as well. Okay, so that's a pretty good sign. And you can see the product name and you can see the product uh, date and product time. Now, when you're promoting a product as an affiliate, one of the best times to promote is the, the exact date and time that this product goes live. Uh, because this is going to help with uh, increased conversions because 
when it's completely new in the marketplace and no one's seen it before, then obviously if you can get in early and start um, sending your affiliate link out to your audience, then that's going to help increase your conversions and make more sales. Okay, so you can see here the front end price is six hundred ninety-seven dollars. So that's quite a bit. Uh, it doesn't show a commission here, but we will see that. Uh, we should be able to find that shortly. Uh, the JV page, you've got a link here for the JV page, and if we click on that, then you can see here that this takes you to the um, Warrior Plus page where you can request approval to promote this product and you can see just down here uh, the product price there and it's actually 50 percent commission okay so that's 348 dollars 50 for every sale you make okay so if we go back then here again you can just see it's on the warrior plus and the niche is obviously affiliate marketing so you can see a link here for the, uh, the sales page to go and visit the sales page which is always a very good idea to look at the sales page if you're thinking of promoting the product so we'll click on that and you'll find on Munchai that they've added a, um, a page that you see first of all prior to seeing the actual sales page. So they're just adding a bonus. You can see the video here, step two, step three, and you can find all these bonuses. So if you just want to go down to the bottom of the page, if you're not interested in all that kind of stuff, you just want to see the sales page, then just click on this. No thanks. I just want to proceed to uh, whichever product, obviously sales page you're taking a look at. So in this case, it's sent me to this page, which is obviously not the sales page. This is um, a page on uh, Paul Nichols' blog. So that's not uh, that's not great. So if we go back and we just check the other link for the sales page. So uh, this is actually the only the only link that we can see for this sales page. So that's not really working. That's not going to help us at all. Okay. So I would leave that. Obviously, we're not going to be um, taking a look at this one. So if we take another look at a different example, again with these you just go through and find products that you might be interested in and say for example just if we just pick a few of them then just right click it and open in new tab. Okay so that's opened in a new tab then let's have a look at this one open in a new tab and say open in a new tab and then you can just click on the tabs at the top to take a look at the details. So in this case, we're going to look at this. So you've got the same details here, 50% uh, commission, $24 front end. That seems sort of more reasonable for a front end product. Uh, you can see the JV page, and let's try the sales page in this case. Okay, so again, we're going to see this. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, click on that. Okay, so now this time it has taken us to a sales page, but there's no information on this. Um, so you can see here it launches on the 17th of February. Um, so again, there's not really much information we can sort of find with that. And if we go back, then you can see the JV page. See if this is all complete. Okay, so there is a JV page. It's just that we can't really see the sales page very well. So sales page preview, we've got another link there. Okay, so this page is now um, the sales page is set up, it's just that, that that other link hasn't been changed. So now you can take a look at the sales page. Okay, so it all looks pretty good, nice and clean. Lots of content on there, lots of information. Uh, demo video, which is always good. Okay, so you can take a look through the sales page. Now that does look quite a nice looking sales page. Okay, so again, you can go back. And you can grab your affiliate link. So if you click on the grab affiliate link there, that'll take you to JVZoo. Obviously, this product's on JVZoo. Log in and um, request your approval. Or if you've already done so, then that's where you can grab your affiliate link from. Okay. You can also see as well, actually, on the JVZoo, um, on the JV page, then you can start finding um, affiliate resources such as email swipes, that kind of thing, that's going to help you then promote the product. So if we take another look, uh, a look at a different example, so this is Steps to Entrepreneurial Success. Um, again, you can look at the vendor name, click on that. You can see that they've launched two products prior to this. And you can take a look at the JV page. So it's 100%, it's a $17 front end and 100% commission. So that's pretty good. And we'll take a look at the JV page. And again, not too bad, this looks pretty good. Plenty of information there, lots of uh, resources and tools to use. 
So if we click on email swipes, you can see this open up. So that, that looks good. It looks good JV page, lots on there, all the information you really need. Sales page preview, click on that. And you can see a nice clean sales page. Okay. So again, this one looks pretty good. Lots of testimonials. They always help with conversions. And there you go. So that's the sales page for that one. So if we go back, so we'll just go back to Munchai. So the best thing to do really is to just look through the launches, uh, look at the um, the date, and give yourself enough time to take a look at the JV page, get the um, resources and tools that you can use to promote the product, take a look at the email swipes, okay? Don't copy and paste the email swipes into your autoresponder and start sending out the exact same emails that everyone else is probably sending. Uh, also, um, they chances are they'll show up in spam, they'll en end up in the spam folder as well uh, for the email recipient. It'll just go to their spam folder and they won't even see it. So with the email swipes, it's always a good idea to uh, take a look at them, use the kind of content, sort of reword it, um, and then send it as a, a unique. Don't copy and paste it straight in, as I've mentioned. It's always a good idea if you do copy and paste any material, um, any content, just copy and paste it to a, a Word doc or to a, a notepad just to get rid of the formatting and then copy and paste it from there into your autoresponder. But again, it's always a good idea to uh, reword any content as well. So once you've just gone through the uh, the launch calendar, um, take a look through the products, like I say, make a note of the dates and put them in a calendar so you can see uh, when you're going to be promoting products, what date they're on, and then give yourself uh, two or three days after the launch date um, for the actual follow-up sequences as well so that you can um, start following up with emails two or three days after the launch and start emailing people that haven't uh, opened up the, the the first email so you're just catching more more people and making more sales